Hey guys, you're watching Simon and Ali. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Springfield. I hit my microphone. I apologize. This is episode 65. Today we're going to be building Nelson's house. A, uh, a, a sought after building, surprisingly enough. You guys have been wanting this uh, for quite some time. And uh, I reckon we can do it. I reckon we can pull it off. Let me just um, turn my volume up on my headphones. There we go. I can. Can I hear? I can hear now. Wonderful. <laughs> I was like, it's so quiet in here. Okay, so Nelson's house then. Uh, Nelson's house uh, is a sort of run-down house. Very similar, uh, actually, in look to Cletus's farm. But I'm doing it in the residential area because it is a house at the end of the day. It is a house, so we're building it in the housey area. And uh, I reckon we can pull it off. So what we've got here... It is uh, a little window on the side. Uh, it's a symmetrical house, which makes it sort of uh, easier to build as well. We've got a little tiny window. We've got a bigger window. We then have the door in here. And then we have... Um, I'm going to have to redo that door, I think. I, I was going to use a carpenter's door. And then I realised that we don't do uh, one wide, two high doors. We do two, high, uh, two wide, three high. So that'll have to be changed. But that's no problem. Alright, and then a little window... On this side, we can now come down this way, and I'm just going to do a rough amount of blocks for now, because the only giveaway to how wide this this part of the house is, is the little window that goes in the middle, which I'm going to do there, so then it'll be four blocks on either side, which ended up being absolutely perfect. So then we'll fill this in. For the roof, I'm actually going to do slabs. Um, just so we get this this smoother lower roof instead of a high peaked roof. If you look at the picture, uh, it's not quite as high as other roofs would be. Uh, so so we're doing it a little bit um, a little bit lower. Okay, and then we fill in the rest of the building here. I'm going to put the door off on the side. I'm going to do the door on this side just because I feel like it. No window on this side, but I will do a window on the other side. Uh, so we'll have, it needs to be a minimum of that. I'm going to match it up with the window on the front, which should make it right there. Fill this in here. And then put those two in for the top of the door. And on this side, we'll match it up exactly the same uh, as the other side with a broken window in there as well. Or a boarded up window. It's not broken, is it? It's, it's just boarded up. All right, wonderful. So there's the main uh, floor plan of the house. I do have some pods. This was something that... Um, was commented in the last uh, video to put pods all under here. And I reckon we could probably do that. If I put that there, my inventory is full for this episode. But if I go from there to there, 3, 2, set to 3, 2. Yeah. And then we get the pods all that flowers can still grow on top of. Wonderful. Great idea in the comment section there. Thank you very much for that. I still haven't figured out the um, the grass. You guys had a few ideas. I just haven't had time to really uh, implement them. But we haven't had anything else disappear. I grew a tree here. And these haven't disappeared. But then again, it is a tree. So they probably wouldn't because they're close enough to logs not to despawn. But anyway, that's, <laughs> that's beside the point. Uh, what I'm going to do now is put down a little... Uh, uh, porch area. I've cut these uh, birch ones down uh, as not as thin as they'll go, but pretty thin because it's not that much off the floor. It's only slightly off the floor, uh, this building. So we shall do it like this. And then I've cut down some jungle wood, a very wooden building here. Jungle wood for the little fence that goes uh, across, sort of holding up that front porch part. And if you look on the picture, it is a very jungle wood colour. I think we're pretty close. To what we need to have here and then i'm hoping that i can somehow oh not on the side on the front here oops i'm hoping i can somehow there we go i've got it uh do something like this this is gonna look so nice i feel all right so this goes all the way to the front door which i'm gonna do to well we could do it to there but then it's gonna be odd no i'm gonna do it to there which would make it this block. Is that right? Yeah, that one. And then work our way back again. Oh, it's easier going this way. That's for sure. Okay. There. 
And then there's four upward posts I see, one on each end and one on either side of the uh, door. And it doesn't close up from the house to the front here. It doesn't go uh, that way. It just uh, is along the front for whatever reason. I don't really know. I'm going to take that one away. I'm going to have it at that height. And then we'll put these up here, up there. Oh, oh, question of the day. We haven't done a question of the day for quite a while now. I was just stretching. I haven't been up long and I just loaded up Minecraft and I was like, you know what? I want to I want to do some recording now. So I haven't been up long, so I might sound a little bit weird. Um, but question of the day. We haven't done one for a little while. Someone said to me on Twitter, uh, what football team do you support? Now, I have said this before. I have mentioned what football team uh, I support or soccer if you're uh, in America. And uh, although I don't... S actually sort of um sub well it sounds really bad when i say it like that i i don't and uh, no, i went on the top i don't support football teams i no i do like it like that actually mm, no no uh, i don't really support football i don't watch football religiously i'm not a a huge uh, football fan but I think that you do need to have a team that you at least sort of uh, support. Uh, I support Liverpool. Now, that's going to anger a lot of you. That's also going to make a lot of you happy, I'm sure. Um, I am I'm fond of quite a few teams. Um, I do like Manchester City as well. I know you're not meant to like more than one team. I know that's like a, a terribly bad thing to do. Uh, we'll do the door last, I think, because I haven't got the blocks for it. Um, it's a terrible thing to do, to, to like more than one team. Uh, but I support Liverpool. But if uh, Manchester City are playing and they're not playing Liverpool, uh, then I will support Manchester City. I know this makes absolutely no sense uh, for anybody outside the UK. Probably, I think, I think UK, the Premiership, UK... Um, uh, league is actually sort of followed in other countries. I'm not so sure so much in America uh, But I know in in some other countries. It is actually um, It's actually quite followed. I think uh, I need to cut down those I think so I'll put these up above here and I'm just wondering if I Can actually do a little cheeky thing. Let's have a look. Let's go down and cut down one of these oak ones uh, Like this I get rid of that. There we go. I wonder if I can just put a uh, half slab under here. We can't do this in vanilla, but we can in uh, in the modern version, which is wonderful. So then we get like a, a bottom slab on one side and a top slab on the other. There's not really mu too much to say about the rest of that question of the day. Uh, it's quite a short one, uh, but maybe maybe some of you will <laughs> unsubscribe now. It wouldn't surprise me. How dare you support Liverpool? How dare you s do, do you follow two teams? I don't know. I, I tell you why. I can tell you why I like Manchester City, and this is going to be a pretty ridiculous answer. I know. Um, but the reason why I like Manchester City is because on FIFA, they always start with the most money. Now, I'm not a huge FIFA fan. Uh, as I say, I'm not a huge football fan and I'm absolutely terrible at FIFA, which is why you'll never see me play it on my channel. Uh, but <laughs> uh, but uh, when I do play it, I do, like, I do quite enjoy it. I do think it's quite fun. Uh, only with friends. I don't play it like, um, uh, like a manager mode. Uh, I don't have the time or the patience to build up a team and and uh, get them through place, you know, get them through the league, up the leagues and stuff like that, and um transfers. And I don't really understand too much of that kind of stuff. I got a lot of friends that do. I have one friend in particular that plays an awful lot of FIFA, and he's very, very good at it. And I can never beat him, uh, which drives me absolutely insane when he comes over. But um, they do have the most money, so at least if I do do a little tiny bit of a manager mode, uh, I'll only last one season if I do, and then I sort of give up or get bored. Um, not that I lose, it's just that I, I just generally get bored of it. Um, uh, but they, because they, they start with the most money, I can get in a load of good players. Um, or at least, at least three really good players, or... Like a team of of good players that are somewhat maybe a little bit better than some of the players that Manchester City have. Uh, in some cases, they do have a lot of good players. Don't don't think that I'm um um uh, bashing them or anything like that. Uh, but it's just not my 
not my cup of tea. I'm actually going to go one wider than the building here. We always do. It always looks better when it's completed. So we do something like that. And we know that the roof's got to go up there. I can do that off camera. Let's do the boarded up section. Now, the boarded up section, I'm going to use a birch. Ah, oh, the one that I got rid of. <laughs> We're going to do a boarded up uh, window here. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to get the grey that we had earlier on. I'm going to go one wider so it makes... No, I'm going to go one on the other side. I was thinking about going one wider so the building look, the window looks slightly bigger, but I think that'll look better. It just looks like it's sort of boarded up. That's about as good as we can do. I don't want to put glass in there. I think that would look terrible. Um, it, it's got wood going across on the picture, so we're trying to keep, keep as close as we can uh, to that as possible. That looks pretty good. Let me just put this roof on. It's going to be a slow job of just slabbing it up slowly, and then we'll come back for fencing and a car in the garden and some trees and stuff like that. I shall be back. Ah, uh, whoops. Oh no, I threw them. <laughs> I hit the wrong button when I came back. I'm <laughs> just finishing off the top of the roof here. Uh, we haven't got far to go. I have noticed, don't worry, that there is a slightly different colour on a, a couple of bits of the roof. So we can do that, absolutely. That goes underneath there. And then we should be able to fill those in. And fill them in on the other side here as well. It's the perfect way to do these these smaller roofs. They always look good when you do them in slabs. A uh, very nice way. Okay, so a couple of different colours. I've got a couple of different colours here. Uh, these are as close as I could get uh, in Minecraft. This one is sort of in an L shape. So we're going to do it there, there, and there. And then this one is sort of in a square that goes underneath it. I was thinking about what colour to use. There's a few yellows and stuff like that. But if we used yellow, it, I thought it would look too bright. So I think they look better as sort of a, a repaired section of the roof. And then we've got this one for the chimney that goes up the middle. I'm going to do it there. And I'm going to do it too wide. So there and there. And then we have a nice little nub to go around the side of this chimney. And then we'll swap out for some carpenter blocks to give a little bit of bricks. Uh, bricky, textury look in it. Come around here. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Nope, there we go. And carpet block and a chisel. And this one as well. Uh, so we'll put one in there and one in there. And I think that'll, that'll look good enough. Uh, we don't want to add too many bricks. It just adds that little tiny bit of touch, little tiny bit of detail. I much prefer doing that than doing it all brick. If you do it all brick, it's a little bit overwhelming. It looks a little bit too much. Uh, but that, that looks pretty nice. I like that. So there's the main building in what we're going to do is i'm going to use pods all now for this uh this front part there's like a little pond section uh, out that well not a pond it's more <laughs> pond it's more of a puddle than a pond and uh, we're just going to do some sort of odd shape like this it adds a little bit of detail to the uh to the front lawn as well just a little bit of discoloration in it more than anything uh, like the sort of ground is dyed around the area because of the amount of um uh, just rubbish and stuff. And there's also a couple of little flowers that I've noticed as well. So we can get rid of the pods all. I shall grab one of those. I see a little red one go in there. Uh, or a little white one, sorry, flower there. And then the rest is just rubbish, which we can't really do uh, that well in Minecraft. Okay, so the door. We know that we need to do this uh, around the outside. Oops. And then I need to get rid of a couple of uh, blocks I've got in my inventory in order to uh, get somewhat of a, a nice looking door in. So let's do flower. Uh, flower can go. Let's get rid of some stuff. Flower can go. Uh, they can now go. That should now go. Uh, this should now go. And then it gives us a little bit of space. So we want uh, birch. Let's cut this down into... Uh, I'm going to cut it down into these ones. And I'm going to do the same with the glass. We will also need another piece of glass. Then, because that was the only glass I had. There we go. People still asking me, why am I cutting down the blocks when I have the uh, cut down versions uh, actually in here? Well, the reason that I have to do that is because they don't have their own metadata. The only reason why mod packs uh, are able to do that, like proper real um, mod packs such as uh, Feed the Beast and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the only reason why they do is because they individually set their own ID to them, uh, which would take forever. Like... I hold my hand up to anybody's whose job it is to do that. 
because it would be a, such a long-winded job that I just don't have time to do it. That's as close as we can get to a door, and I sort of actually really like it, so we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why uh, I have to cut them down. I can't select them. If I do select them, although I get the right shape and the right size of block that I selected, it will always be of an obsidian texture. I know that sounds really weird, but it'll always be an obsidian texture because that's what the... Uh, I suppose that must be the lowest tech, um, metadata number. I'm not quite sure. I don't know the logistics behind it, as I'm sure most of you probably don't either without trying to sound uh, uh, offensive. <laughs> Do you? Not many people know how Minecraft works on the inside. I don't definitely. I don't for sure, so uh, we'll leave it like that. Okay, carpenter's fence around the outside here. Duk, 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 duk. I think we'll go out about that much. I think that's a nice sized garden. So we need to fit a couple of trees in the back garden and a uh, shot out vehicle. A uh, little white vehicle that he has. It's missing a bonnet and stuff like that. So we're going to try and build that somehow. I'm going to color this in a dark oak. And I like this fence design. It's a very sort of uh, cheap looking fence. You know, uh, Nelson and his mum uh, can't really afford uh, too much. So having a, a sort of plain... Uh, cheap looking fence is definitely the perfect one for it So we shall just drag this down and paint those into that wonderful wonderful uh, Now in the back garden obviously it changes episode to episode, but we're gonna do a little car here I'm gonna do one there and One there for the wheels and then we're gonna leave a gap of two one there and one there so This is our normal car size, but we need to do a broken down car We want to make it hopefully look like it doesn't have a bonnet and doesn't have a door on it. Is that good for the back? It's sort of like a hatchback, isn't it? So I'm trying to, to get as close to it as I can. Okay, and then we'll have... I think I'm going to do this up here so we get a little bit of a front on it. And then this is the bonnet so far, which we'll carve out afterwards. If we can get... Maybe it's the best way to actually build the car first and then take out parts would that be a better idea do you think i think so uh, 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 uh. and up here there's the back window in which we can put the glass in for oops in for as well <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad i think i'm gonna put these along here it's, it's an impressive looking car if i do say so myself all right, so we want no door on this side. Let's take that away. So the no door on this side, uh, it would probably pretty much be that. Uh, do we color the, the floor in black? Uh, no, I'm going to do it in white just so it's all the same. Uh, missed one. And I'll probably take some holes out like he shot them with his shotgun. The only episode that I know of that shows Nelson's house... Is the episode where they shoot Bart's over there and they shoot a um, squirrel, is it? I think it's a squirrel. No, it's a bird. It's a bird, isn't it? With their BB gun and they kill it. And the bird has babies in the nest. So Bart takes them home and uh, sits on them <laughs> like a bird would in his treehouse. And uh, and I think he actually hatches them too. Uh, I think it actually goes successfully, <laughs> surprisingly enough for Bart, uh, which is quite funny. I'm going to take that out for a little back window. Put that in there. Uh, that side does have a door, or I'm going to assume it has a door on this side. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put the glass in. Uh, take that one out. Put the glass in. I'm also gonna I'm gonna take that, leave that one out with no glass, but I'm gonna put glass in this one. This doesn't have a door and it doesn't have a bonnet either, so I'm gonna remove those and these, I think, just to make it a little bit bigger. And maybe if I can use these to look like an engine. Good, they don't show through that side. I'm just trying to to get something that looks like interesting enough to be in here. Like, oops. I'm trying my best to make an engine. That sort of looks like an engine, like it would hook up to the radiator at the front. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Okay, and then we'll put, um, hmm, I was thinking about putting some lights in, but it's very hard to do uh, in Minecraft. This doesn't have a front wheel, so I can take that away. 
<clears throat> I might put a little um, uh, brick under it. Oh, this would be perfect. In fact, if we put that underneath it, it just looks like it's sort of up, you know, being held up on bricks. That's quite funny. I like that. That's good for the broken down car in the background. Uh, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to put the wheel down on the floor in front of it, maybe like here, like the wheels being taken off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right. And then we shall do a tree behind it. Uh, saplings. I thought I had them. I thought I got sapling and bone meal before. Oh, no, I didn't. We're going to custom make them. Cust custom build them. So we got this. And there's also a... I'm going to do a spruce one in the garden as well. So I'm going to do two trees. But this is the one that gets uh, the bird shot out of. Uh, so I probably want to have... A little branch coming out where the nest was. So I'm going to build a little bit around there. Like that. And then we'll build a tree sort of around that area. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on this tree. Uh, but at least I want the, the nest visible. Or where the nest would be visible. Yeah, that looks pretty good like that. And then we can micro block this up to add a little bit more detail and uh, uniqueness to it. They look so much better when you do trees like this. And we'll do that one. We'll go underneath it. We'll do something like this. One there. One there. And then a couple along the back there. Perfect. Maybe one on the top. And then we go down a level so we get a slightly smaller leaf block. And each time you do this, you're adding more and more detail. Which default trees just don't have, unfortunately. They don't... They're, they're okay, like the default trees, the vanilla trees in Minecraft that you come across in a survival world. But they they all look the same. They all look very, very dull, don't they? I must admit, it would be nice if we had some uh, some different shaped trees. I know there's a lot of mods that add new biomes that give some really cool looking trees. But most people can't get them. Most people can't, can't install mods or don't know how to or get stuck or just don't like... Uh, modded Minecraft. I love modded Minecraft. I'd love to do more modded Minecraft in the future. Oh, right. Um, and I probably will do. I'll, we'll probably do a, a modded series at some point. Uh, I've got a lot of series on at the moment, so I don't really want to overwhelm everybody with, with hundreds and hundreds of series. We've done that uh, a few months back, and you guys started to notice that we were doing a little bit too much to keep up with. And I respect that. I respect that you've got other things to do, uh, so we don't want to overwhelm and, uh, and you get bored of it. So, let's put a spruce one down over here, just for a slightly different colour. It just adds a little bit of detail in the place. We can't cut down spruce leaves. If we cut them down in the crafting table, they just turn into oak leaves. They don't seem to have their own metadata. So, we're going to just make a, a nice, neat-looking tree, I think. Ooh, we can do something a little bit different like that. And then one on the top. Uh, yeah, we might as well go a little bit cool with this. Uh, yeah, like that. And like that. I do like making little custom trees. They are, it's very, um, very therapeutic, I find. Yeah, I like that one. That's a cute little sort of round uh, cherry tree style one. I like that. I like that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go around with some bone meal. Just to make the ground look like it hasn't been weeded in a really long time. And we'll also put some podzel down, I think. Have I got podzel? Where's it gone? Did I, I must have got rid of it. We'll put some podzel down at the back here. And then we'll just bone meal it up. Yeah, they haven't got a lawnmower or anything like that. So uh, it gets overrun. It gets overgrown with stuff. So we'll put a little patch down there. It's just like, uh, it looks like dead grass sort of thing. But if we use normal dirt, obviously the... Um, <laughs> the grass would just grow over it eventually. And I'll put another little couple of bits in there. And then we'll just go around. Bone meal it up. Not too crazily. And then what we're going to do is go around. Oh, can't I? Don't we have too high grass? Uh, grass. Yeah, double tall grass. Why wasn't that? Like, growing then. Oh, because that was right underneath uh, a micro block. Yeah, okay. That's fine. There we go. So these have a slightly different texture. This is the uh, natural texture pack uh, coming through because the um, uh, Simpsons one doesn't have its sort of own uh, its own texture for this because it was made well before, I expect, uh, the, um, uh, the, the double grass came out. 
But that's pretty good. That's nice and overgrown in the back garden. I might do a couple of these in the front as well. I do like the, the double high grass. It does look very, very nice. I like that. And I think that's Nelson's house pretty much complete. We can put down a little um a little entranceway in here. Like so. And I think we're done. I'm looking on the picture. I'm looking at any other reference pictures that I might have. Uh, i tell you what i do. It looks like on another picture that I have, the bonnet to the car is resting up against this tree. So we can do that. Or, or we can at least do somewhat like it. If we do. Maybe that's big enough, isn't it? It's like the bonnet of the car. Yeah, resting up against the tree there. Nice bit of detailing. It looks very, very nice. We are going to leave it there, though, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We've already put Nelson down. He's out at the uh, school bullying. Uh, Martin, I think it is. Uh, I think that's the character that he's bullying. I can't remember who I put there. It must be Martin. Uh, but, yeah, we shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye!